The Army and Navy Store in our 1883 catalogue described this as a portable slide looking glass. It's a campaign mirror, a travel mirror. Um, they sold uh, this mirror in mahogany or teak and also in five different sizes from 11 inches to 17 inches. This is the second smallest uh, example that you could buy. And although it's not marked Army and Navy store, it's a very good chance that they either made it or they made it um, for somebody else to retail, perhaps uh, a company like Solomon Brothers. So the reason it gets its name is simply because you've got a protective board here, a slide board, which you can remove and that will look after, protect the mirror, the looking glass during travel. Um, remove it and you've got a nice mirror that you can move and you can either stand it on this lectern foot which is held in place by a ribbon, a hinged foot there, or you can hang it simply like that for use. Now one of the reasons that we think there's a good chance it's by the Army and Navy store is that uh, you've got these numbers stamped to the back. It's not conclusive evidence, but certainly um, that sort of numbering was typical of the Army and Navy store. And the number is actually 14643, would have simply been a model number. So if we're going off traveling again, we'll just simply slide the cover board back on, fold the lectern foot. We might have had a canvas case or something else for it, or else it could go into the drawer of a campaign chest, pack it away and off we go. So this one is made of teak. Um, it's a good size. Some campaign uh, mirrors, especially with box mirrors, can be too big. Um, they're difficult to fit onto a dressing table. This one would fit nicely. And of course, for um, any young officer looking to impress, wanting to look the bee's knees, a mirror was a very important piece of equipment. It's late 19th century in date, probably made by the Army and Navy store, made of teak. There you go, portable, slide, looking glass.